It's a great day at 9A, everybody. And we all know that old expression, right? April showers bring what? May, May flowers. There you go. And Scott would continue and say, <laughs> what do May flowers bring? Do you Orchids. know? Orchids. No, pilgrims. <laughs> oh, no. Pilgrims. I <laughs> stole that, that one from one. him. That's right. I like Don't it. credit me on that. All right. Well, these flowers are certainly a sign, though, of spring. And you can actually see some this weekend instead of waiting until May. Uh, we are joined by two members of the Nutmeg State Orchid Society, Alan Stouch and Sandy Mahalik, as well as accredited orchid judge Jenna Plude. Wow, I got all of your names <laughs> right. <laughs> you did. Very good. Oh, thank you so much for being here. Um, Sandy, what is the Nutmeg Orchid Society? Um, well, it's a group of people who get together, and basically our goal is to preserve orchids. It's the largest um, flower group actually in the world. Really? Yeah. I had no idea. Yeah. And Alan, I want to put you on the spot here because this really got my attention. Who came up with the phrase, come see our bloomers? Was that you? No, it wasn't me. <laughs> no. uh, We're not taking credit for that. <laughs> it was our original our... president. Oh, okay. Yes. Very clever and catchy, too. You got our attention while we were reading that. In fact, we would be displaying bloomers also in yes. addition to our <laughs> bloomers. Bloomers with blooms. Yep. Okay, like actual bloomers that you mm -hmm. can put on a clothesline. Uh -huh. Oh, that's very cute. Not Do our own. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good thing. Yeah, we like fresh bloomers. <laughs> but what can people expect from the show? When is the show, first of all? It's this coming weekend, and it's Saturday from noon till 5 o'clock, and Sunday from 8 in the morning for photographers, Ooh. a very special photography session, and then 10 to 4 for just uh, people without cameras. And where is it taking place? Down in West Hartford on the Main Street in West Hartford. South Main Street at the, the conference center. Conference, the center. conference center. Conference, conference and meeting center. Wonderful. Yes. Well, Jen, I have to put you on the spot. Like I, I put Al on the spot. So you are an accredited judge. Yep. So, so many of us, we look at these orchids and we say, oh, they look nice. But we mm -hmm. can't tell what really is an orchid and flower that's going to get the top marks versus ones that aren't. So mm -hmm. what are you looking for before you decide which flowers and which orchids get the top grades? Well, I think before I get to that, the, the important thing is if it's beautiful to you, it's beautiful. I like that. So you know, whatever Good life it, you know, yeah. if it gives you pleasure, that's that's great. Um, for for American Orchid Society judging, we're we're comparing to the history of the the plant. You know, for a like a a slipper orchid, we're going to look at other awards previously and see how it measures up. So it's it's kind of like the NCAA when you get to you know the top, you need to be compared to everybody else Got and. It. And that's what we look for. Does that mean you have orchid brackets going on too this weekend? <laughs> yes. In a sense, yes. 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 <laughs> uh, and what is the number one tip you have for those at home who, you know, like to think they have a green thumb or aspire to have one and they really want their orchids to look as beautiful as these displays here? Join a society. Yeah. Oh. Yes. Because you can get tips from, you know, other members, other growers. Um, they're not as hard as people think they are. Mm -hmm. Some of them are very easy, and for the most part, they're better if you ignore them a lot. We meet, <laughs> yeah. we meet once a month. Okay. Uh, generally, the first Sunday of every month uh, in the uh, Senior Center in Farmington. And each of our meetings, we do have guest speakers. Oh, great. Um, many of them are gr orchid growers that mm -hmm. will bring orchids for sale. In addition, they, um, we'll be talking about different things on growing orchids, mm -hmm. fertilizing orchids, repotting orchids, um, handling orchid pests that you may get with the, some, on some of your orchids. All right. So it's, it's an educational program, Wonderful. as well as showing your, your blooms. All right. Well, I'm going to get my ice cube tray ready and maybe get a few orchids. <laughs> Isn't that a great way to water them with uh, an no. ice cube? No. 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 We'll talk, we'll talk about that. I need to join an orchid society. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> all right. Thank you so much to all of you for coming into the studio. Let's see. Paul Stouch. Alan. Alan Stouch. That's right. See, I'm going to mess up. Name. All right. Do you remember? Sandy, Sandy and Jenna. Mahalik and first Jenna name All right. I'm yes. sorry about right. that, Alan. That's all right. Thank and you. And come see their bloomers. Yes. Please. <laughs> Please come. Yes. <laughs> all right.